So we're going to get into this uh, this Tory Lane story. Apparently, Tory Lane's thought the best way to roll out an album Ugh. was to shoot a woman in the foot. Um, how do you guys how do you guys feel about this? How do you guys feel like Tory is is moving? I've got a lot in my mind on this. I'll let you guys go first. I got some I got some I got some thoughts, man. Go ahead. Um, I think that Tory's the way that Tory went about is going about this is completely wrong, and like, um, in listening to creatives. Like I like I listen to you know guys who podcast. You hear a different perspective of pre- creatives, and you realize that creatives do express themselves mm-hmm. in different ways. So I'm trying my best to say, hey, listen, um, maybe this is how Tori wants to express himself or or tell us everything. But also as a man, accountability is a real thing. So if the allegations or if the if the things said about you is wrong, I don't believe an album is the w- best way to address it. So I think first. You speak your truth, whatever your truth may be, and and you get it out there. But you don't go around into a speak your truth in a way or release your truth in a way where now you can monetize off of it. So for me, I I always que- now I'm going to question your motives and I'm going to question everything you said. Did I listen? I listened to a couple of tracks, and he mentioned something about like people not reaching out to him to hear the real truth. His, his, the people in the industry didn't even come and check on me as my man's, bro. I really hope you're not lying about anything that you that 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 you're that you're claiming, because if you are lying, then you're literally begged people to check in on you so you can lie to them. And now I'm just judging your character as a man. It's just failing more and more. And I res- I like Tory Lanez's music a lot. I'm on I'm on record saying that. But as a man right now, I'm very disappointed at the way he's handling this entire situation. That's all I got. Cool. What you got? What you got? Yeah, I got the. Um, he's very American, you know. He's <laughs> he's very money and violence, you know. Like he, you know, violence is a thing that happened, and you're trying to like Josh said, you're monetizing of it, and I'm not mm-hmm. impressed. Um, you had something called quarantine radio where you talk the whole show and wild out. And I get as a creative, cause I contemplated the same thing. Right. I was like, you know, artists express themselves in a particular way, but you had no problem quarantine radio talking shit. Talking shit. Yeah. Every so, day. so, so, so the, the fact that, you know, you need to release it in, in, in music now. Um, and you know, it may be a traumatic experience, but technically you didn't get arrested for that, for, for, for shooting her. You still have the ability to record this. So like, yeah, you, 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 you technically, there's no file charges against you shooting this young lady. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? However, you're, you know, all right, fine. You dropped the song, but it's not even like, this is my truth. This is a diss track. It's right. (sighs) I had never listened. I have yet to listen to it. I think what's really bothering me more than anything is the reaction of the black community. Um, okay, this is good. This is good. No, right. you're right. This is you're good. Both, you're both right. Um, I didn't listen to it. I don't think I could. I just think it's nasty. I didn't want to listen to it because I really feel like the motivation to listen to this album is not that it's good music. It's that I want to hear what he has to say about him allegedly shooting a woman in the foot and then not taking the rap about it and not being accountable about it. So instead, like I read the quotes... Of course, like like you said, Kashima, it's a dis, it's a diss track. He's going at Kylie Jenner and J.R. Smith. So if you're gonna so if you're gonna say it's him telling his truth, it's not that. It's him just being upset and whining like a fucking kid over a record. That, that's Nap- it. that Napoleon complex is real. Yeah, guys. we're gonna we're gonna that, kill it. We're gonna kill that. We're gonna kill that, that right there. Like for guys like under five with no hairline. Eight. It's just it's it's wow, just I just made the cusp. <laughs> she was about to kill me with the man Napoleon niggas. I wasn't trying to be with them little niggas, bro. She was like five. I was like, oh, listen, listen, eight. Oh yeah, I'm in five, eight, five, nine and three quarters. It's your boy, not a Napoleon. <laughs> it's like these guys, like they have something to prove every day, and so. It's just like the way to do it. It's just like if your publicist, the way it's this story's unraveling is like your publicist telling is like coaching and maneuver you through these things. If this is your publicist's job, they need to be fired because I know street team dudes that hand, handed out flyers that can do a better job than them. 